Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Welcome to our entry level off-road helmet gear guide. I'm going to show you five of my top picks under $250. Let's check it out. Here at Chaparral Motorsports, we always have great deals going on. And I wanted to pull out five of the best helmets under $250. That way you get a better idea of what you can get as far as stretching your dollar out. Now this video is primarily for the beginner rider or the weekend warrior that's looking to save the cash but get the best helmet that they can get under that $250 mark. So let's start with the five helmets I've chosen for you. So we're first going to take a look at the Answer Evolve 3 with MIPS. I think this helmet is great. For one, the price. This is going to be the most expensive at $250 at full retail. It includes the MIPS system, which is a feature to protect you against rotational forces, which is incredible for the value. Now that's a feature you're going to see in most top helmets out there these days. So this is a polycarb shell. It's DOT and ECE rated for safety. It's got a great liner, has that silver cool lining, which is going to be antimicrobial, moisture wicking, completely removable and washable. But the biggest standout feature here is that MIP system. The helmet's pretty basic itself, nice ventilation system, but it's going to be just a little bit more protective in that sense. Then if we take a look at the HJC FGX, this is a great helmet. For one, it's the only one up here that's fiberglass, right at $200. Nice value here. It's going to be lightweight. That fiberglass over polycarbonate's an advantage because it's going to have a little bit more flex, a little bit more give to disperse that energy in the event of a crash. But the other great thing about it is this helmet goes up to a 5XL. So if you're one of those people that just can't find a helmet to fit them over 2X, HJC has your back because this one goes up to a 5X shell, but just keep in mind that 3X to 5X is gonna be DOT rated only. Making our way down the table to the middle, the Fox V1. This is a great helmet, but I'm gonna to have to say this is very basic in its features and what it offers. This is a DOT ECE rated helmet that's polycarb shell. It has that silver cool lining in it, so it's again gonna be more shoe wicking, comfortable, completely removable and washable. The ventilation system really takes shape from the V3 and V4 helmets. So you have a nice ventilation system here on the top. You have multiple intake vents in the front and the eye ports nice and wide so you can fit some large goggles in here. This helmet's coming in right at $169, so again, that's not too bad. It's right in the middle of the pack. And then if we take a look at the HJC CLX7, another great option from HJC because it's really aggressive looking. It looks like the higher end models that Arfa series. You're gonna have a nice ventilation system here. The liner, I think, is one of the best out of all of them here on the table, so that's a really big advantage, especially because of the price. This is coming in right at about 140 bucks. It comes in more multiple colors, so there's really something out there for everyone or even to match your existing gear set. This is also DOT and Snell rated, so you have a little bit higher safety standards than that ECE rating on some of the others that you have seen here on the table. Last up on the table is the O'Neill 3 Series. This is the Hurricane Graphic, which only comes in one colorway. However, there's plenty others to choose from. The price point on this is starting at 110 bucks at full retail, so this one's the most affordable helmet here on the table. It's a polycarbonate shell, DOT rated for safety, but if we just take a look at this thing, it's very Euro inspired. It has nice, clean, smooth lines, lots of ridges to hold that goggle strap in place. If you notice that the visor is really narrow and comes out pretty far, so you're gonna get really great coverage from the sun when you're out there riding. And then you're gonna see some basic features like a removable liner that's fully washable and replaceable. Kind of the same story as we've seen throughout all of these other helmets here on the table. So in summary, these are my top picks. I didn't wanna to get too detailed as far as features go. You can read more about it on our product pages at shapmoto.com. I really wanted to pull out the standout features and give you the basics that you need to know when comparing these five helmets that I've chosen for you. And just to recap, again, 250 bucks gets you a really nice helmet in Answers lineup with the MIP system, another protective aspect. Fiberglass shell and the HJC FGX and again, it goes up to a size 5XL, and that includes the CLX7 as well. I would say that these three helmets are really on the same playing field as far as features and what they offer, so the price point is really what you've got to consider. But then again, you want to think about the color options that are available and also just the appearance of them. So 
all of these helmets have really come a long way. All of those features really are going to stem down from the top model helmets. For more info, like I said before, head to the product pages at shapmoto.com. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube where you can see more gear reviews that we're always putting out. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt, and we will see you next time.